The room number five of Tim, we're at the halfway mark and it is the Alpha Tauri released in New York City. Super weird, quick, impromptu release. I thought we were going to get a long live show. We didn't, but we've got some renders to look at and this one has certainly split opinion. So let's have a look at it, see what I think and try and make it better. Okay, Alpha Tauri. Obviously, the elephant in the room, the most controversial part of this livery by far is the inclusion of the red. Orlan moved over from Alfa Romeo to Alpha Tauri for this season. Orlan love red. It wasn't a problem on the Alfa Romeo because that car is predominantly red anyway and it leans into Alfa Romeo's branding. That's fine. On a navy and white car is a bit more of a difficult sell. Ah, what do I think of this? Look, I am not against the red fundamentally. Fundamentally, I'm not against the red. However, the way they've implemented it on this livery, I'm not in love with. I did quickly Photoshop a version of this livery with a bit less red, and then also Photoshopped a version with no red at all. And for me, yeah, you can certainly argue it's boring, but in terms of just a clean, nice design, not every single great livery has to be a bright color. I think without the red, it does look nicer. But do I hate it with the red? No, I certainly don't hate it. Look, this is one where Honestly, from a lot of angles, from bang side on, from a perspective angle, I think this car looks really nice. I really like how they've just gone big with the Alpha Tauri icon on the side. It kind of hangs over the Alpha Tauri text and that smaller, and it just makes it feel like the car's kind of really purposeful and kind of pushing down into the road. And I don't hate the fact that it's kind of white at the front, navy, and there's quite a harsh block. I, I don't hate that. I, I like a bit of color blocking. That's kind of my cup of tea. Yet you come around to the front view and oh, the front angle of this car is honestly terrible. It's horrific. It looks so bad from absolutely bang front on. Now, obviously in reality, how often do you see an F1 car from absolutely front on? And obviously we're going by the renders here, so they're not necessarily a absolute rendition of what the actual car is going to look like. I get that. But the black front wing with the navy body and the white and it just, the nose looks so, so long because it is just white. From most of those angles, it looks great. And then it just comes bang front on and I'm just like, Ugh. judging from what I've seen people saying online, this one's definitely split opinion the most. And, and if anything, I think has been the least well received livery of all of the livery designs we've seen so far. But no matter, because I am here to save the day. I am here to recover the Alpha Tauri and at least from a front angle, make it better because that is not difficult because the real thing looks awful from that angle. So here is my version of the 2023 Alpha Tower. We're starting with the front angle just to get this out of the way. And as you can see, I've brought Honda back because Honda is on the car. Okay. They are promoting Honda instead of HRC. And if you're gonna have red on a car that also has Honda, you have to make the Honda red because Honda red type R, you know, it makes sense, it works. So from this front angle, very, very minimal red, just the Honda badge in it. We've also got the Alpha Tauri logo here. And I've taken up the whole nose with Alpha Tauri because why not, okay? Most of these cars, all of these cars have lots of little sponsors going up the nose. Well, I reject convention, okay? I'm not here to play by the rule. <laughs> Shut up. I'll put Alpha Tauri long up the nose and then I've moved Rapid and Ravenol onto kind of those little middle bits. They're still legible from the front angle. So again, why not? Come around to the side. And again, I've done this in one of my previous Alpha Tauri redesigns. Actually, I've moved the Alpha Tauri down to then create a stripe going into the front from the side pod. And then I've moved the Alpha Tauri text to kind of curve down with the, the shape of the car. And then I've made it white at the top. I've kept carbon for the uh, for the halo and just try to integrate it a little bit more purposefully with the navy blue because I don't think navy and black go together well. But I'm trying here. I'm trying my best. We've got all in in red. We've got Honda in, well, not in red, but on red. I did have it in red first and I was like, actually, you know what? I might just strap that out and see how that looks. And I was quite happy with it. And again, all in front wing end plate, that is in red because that's what they want. And then we come down to the rear wing. The kind of tip of it is red, but then you've got Alpha Tari and Honda from the back view because you've got those two panels there. It doesn't look aesthetic, but you've got two logos there. So, you know, brands will be happy. I wanted to celebrate Honda a bit and I think I've implemented the red a little bit nicer than they have in the real car. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Upgrade, downgrade, side grade. I'm all ears 
I'm filming this actually in between the McLaren and Aston Martin launch, so I'm going to go streaming a bit now. Although I also need to start editing this video because they're coming thick and fast this week. Drop a like if you enjoyed this, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. My name is Tomo, thanks again, have a good one, ta-da.